Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your June 1st weekly reading. This week, you have some pretty cool stuff going on here, I have to say. Normally, I say in every video that people have interesting stuff going on, but you have cool stuff going on this week. First card you have is the Three of Clubs. This is a great card. It's a second chance. That's what this card's literal translation is, is a second chance. Getting a second chance at something that you missed out on. Uh, one other sign has had this card this week, and it, you know, it makes sense because of the retrograde. That's what I said in, in their video as well, that something would be coming back. The good news is, with this card, is usually in a retrograde, when something comes back to us from the past, then again, I'm not an astrologer, so I'm not an expert on this, but what I do know from experience and things like that is that those things leave us once the retrograde is over. So we might get something back, but it always goes away. The good news about this card and this type of second chance is that it stays forever. Um, this is a second chance forever. It's a very long thing. It doesn't go away. So that's a good card to have right there, right at the beginning of your reading. Next card you have is the Ten of Spades. Another, it's very interesting that you have this card because it, this is like kind of like my Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords in the tarot kind of means like an ending. It's kind of like, it's also kind of like my death card. This is like a mixture card. It's one of those cards that just means a lot of different things. So to me, it's interesting that you have this second chance and then a death, which again, you it's like, you know, something has died and, and you're getting that second chance coming in. So it's interesting that this card has come up. This card, it's, um, you know, a lot of people call this card worry or something along those lines, like you're worrying about things and, you know, all this other stuff. But again, like I said, I'm feeling it more like having to do with a second chance. And that second chance, by the way, could be in anything. Love, business, it's a, it's a, um, it's a club's card, so it could be pretty much anything. Uh, love, business, finance, spirituality, the list goes on and on of what that second chance could be. You're going to recognize it, though, when it comes in. So that's pretty cool. The next card we have is the Joker. Normally I pull this card from my decks. However, I've been leaving it in um, because I don't read my Jack, Queen, King as a sex. I don't attach sex to those cards. They could be anything. Um, so I just read them as the archetype that, th that those cards represent. The Joker is an archetype and it means a lot of things. You know, the Joker is kind of like the trickster and things like that in, in life. But what I'm feeling is that it's asking you to be more childlike this week. It's asking you to have some more fun this week. It's asking you to basically enjoy things more. It's asking you to kind of live live in the moment, not take things so seriously. If you, I think if you look up the Joker archetype, if you type in Joker archetype, um, there's a literal Joker archetype, and I think that's what it means. It literally means to live in the moment, to have fun, to, to let go of and not be so serious this week and all these other things. It's a good card to have. It's it you know it means a lot of those good things. It's playful, means to have, go out, laugh, have fun. So you could be doing all those things this week: going out, laughing, having fun. Next, we have the King of Clubs. A good card. It this card represents somebody who has darker hair, uh, darker features. They may even dress, have a dark dress, and dark be darkly dressed all the time. This is typically somebody with a lot of fire in their chart and things like that. Um, and, you know, so I kind of asked for a little bit of clarification on this card because I wasn't feeling it for Virgo. Um, but what I did get is, interestingly enough, the Ace of Hearts. So this could be a love interest that comes in this week. Um, and again, it could be male or female. It doesn't matter. They would just embody all the king archetype personality features and like I said those things would be they'd be somebody very kind they would be generous all of those things very nice they'd be in, like a nice person and uh, they would be successful very driven and entrepreneurial even and things like that but you have the ace of hearts right on top of that which is Ace of Hearts is the best love card you can get. It represents new changes in love. So if you are in a relationship, it just means your relationship is getting stronger and feeling better and things like that. If you're not in a relationship, like I've 
been telling all people like, a lot of the science have had love cards this week. It's very interesting. I've been telling people to get out there to to go go try to meet somebody and things like that because you will. This is the best card you can possibly have. This card can also indicate problems going away, the problems of your past, you know, any issues you've been having. If you if you feel like you've been just bumping up against a wall is what I'm getting, like constantly, if you've just been like constantly trying to get over a certain obstacle, this is an indication that that obstacle will go away. So thank you for joining me, Virgo. I don't think there's too much more to go over there. I think you're going to have a great week.